What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer229, and welcome to Let's Play Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. A Metroidvania from the father of the Castlevania franchise. This game was developed by Artplay and was released for various consoles in 2019. This has been on my backlog for quite some time. Kiyaka actually bought me this game when it was still pretty new. Um, that I was just kind of waiting until there was some time in order to actually, you know, find an opening to Let's Play. And that time has finally come. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Metroidvanias. I've made that abundantly clear on multiple... Uh, projects. Oh, jeez. Playing as certain characters that I have no idea who they are. Um, but I figured I would give Bloodstained a chance. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm necessarily coming around on Metroidvanias. I did play through Metroid Dread, and that was a very fantastic experience. My favorite Metroid game thus far. And I have played through several Metroid games. Um, but we'll see whether or not I warm up to it through a few other means. And, well, again, Bloodstain has kind of been on that back burner for a while. So, we're gonna start. Oh, that is a lot of save files that we can use. Uh, okay, so name, Miriam, character, Miriam... Oh, what? This is a special mode in time where players are familiar with the story and progression of Bloodstain. If you're not completed, we recommend you do so before playing as Zengetsu. And the same thing for Aurora. Okay. Uh, also various difficulty modes. Okay, so... Oh, and we can also just change the name. Uh, we'll stick with Miriam as that, since that's the name of the protagonist. Miriam here. We'll go with normal just because I'm not familiar with this at all and I'm not the best with Metroidvanias. So going on higher difficulties would be very bad. The Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass. They not only welcomed the change, in 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. There was a message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite parts, the alchemists had created shard binders. Humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders, and in doing so, threw the gates of the world open to demon kind. Countless innocents died, and though the church succeeded in vanquishing the hell's end, the steep price had already been paid. for whom by some miracle the light did not prove fatal. And Miriam, a girl who spared the right altogether on account of the strange slumber that took her just before it could begin. Ten years have passed, and mankind too soon forgets tragedy. Demons have returned, presaged by a great castle. This very hour, here in the wakefulness. Upon learning Jeebel is the architect of this new, blood-stained ritual, Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, glancing towards the inevitable.
Johannes, are you certain it was... It was Jeebel's doing, Miriam. No mistake. It's so hard to believe. I wouldn't even be alive if not for him. He's a good soul. I know. I know how you feel. But the facts are apparent. And the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls. Miriam, I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brother subjected you to... There's no forgiving it. It was their transgression, not yours. You... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well... Let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jibu is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The Shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? I wish I had the answer. All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was... advanced. Arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh. I see. We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. I had the chest there packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. Okay, so now we get to begin. Okay, so B is jump, and I can adjust the height of my jumps. A does nothing. Y is a basic kick. X does nothing. I can do a back slide with uh, the left trigger. Right trigger doesn't do anything. Well, I guess the bumper. It's left bumper. Uh, also, movement. I can crouch down. Okay. I got a knife! As well as some kung fu shoes. Uh, press... Oh, press plus to open the main menu. Okay. Okay, so I guess this will be our weapon. Sign can be equipped by selecting from the item list. Okay. So we have kung fu shoes and a knife. Uh, so I guess that's piercing damage and that's... Uh, I guess sort of bludgeoning damage. They both increase my attack by five. Um... Okay, so it's either one or the other. I guess I can experiment. Shards, um... Not entirely sure what they do. Since this is Castlevania, um... I'm trying to remember which Castlevania game that I saw a Let's Play of a long time ago. Um... But if it's anything like that one, I'm pr I'm just gonna post, say which one it is. Uh, but I do remember that there were souls that you could capture from, like, enemies that you killed. This kind of looks something similar to that. Inventory. Um, just a bunch of different items there. I can also zoom in. <laughs> zoom in on Miriam. Interesting where the default one kind of zooms in on. Archives. Um, looks to be just be... Um... Just different stats and different things there. Good. You're prepared. The next order of business is to... I'll take care of it. Press Y to attack. Ah! Okay, no, that was actually intentional. Okay. I was gonna say, what the heck is that? Shard, crystallized form of demon power. Conjure shard. Press X to trigger. Oh, okay. So that will give me a projectile. Cerulean splash. Launch a bouncing ball of water. Was that a shard? I'd forgotten the way it felt. Like uninvited claws scraping across my bones. The demon's power was transmuted into that shard, which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable. But eventually, the crystal will devour you. 
I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. I know my body's limits better than anyone. And I'm going to need all the power I can get. And if I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. Well, he's dead. How did they get inside? The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. Okay. Um, so I guess uh, uh, if I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure whether or not I'll go for 100%. If I do, then obviously I'll look up a guide for any sort of cleanup work. Uh, whether or not I will actually go for it, still deciding on it. Okay, so that looks like it automatically equipped that. So X will allow me to do that. Not sure if MP regenerates. Uh, let me go ahead and see what the knife attack is. So it's just a straight attack there, and I can also just do it down. What about the Kung Fu shoes? Kind of like a mid one, down. Kind of similar. I'm gonna stick with the Kung Fu shoes. Uh, I'll see whether or not the MP regenerates when I find another monster. Delian Minerva. Okay, so something I could fall through there. Okay, we'll see if that regenerates. Okay, it does regenerate with time. That's good. Jump, hold down, be the jump higher. Okay. Chest. Chest has a potion. Okay. That's cool. This device responds to magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it. There are certain doors can be opened by holding Miriam's arm. Tilt the right stick to in designate direction. Oh! Interesting. So this will allow me to guide my magic then. Or just need to get close enough to do that. Alright, cool. Uh... Okay, got that. Oh boy. That does not work super well. Man, I'm getting my butt kicked. All right, get rid of you. There we go. Okay, I don't think I'm actually going to be getting any, ooh. Spoke too soon. Writhing limb. Looks to be either something I could sell or maybe a material. I'm not sure. I can head down here though. It's down this way. Um. Ow. Okay. So there is a level up system. Um. Probably should have. Did not see level one up there. Was just kind of focused on a few other things. I guess that increased my HP and MP. Maybe some more of my physical attributes as well. Okay, chest has another potion. Cool. Looks like there was a chest down this way. Um. Oh, cool. I've got a slide kick. And a tunic! Okay. Long shirt made of plain cloth. Hey, whatever helps. We can go down that way. Oh, hello. From my studies, I found the existing following attributes. Slash, thrust, strike, fire, ice, thunder, light, dark, poison, curse, and stone. Okay, so those are all the different attributes in the game. Let's down this way. There's been a few other places I can go to. But you gotta explore somewhere. Ok, 
Okay. Oh! Man, that is always going to freak me out. Directional shard. Okay, so... Activate, cast magic towards the aim direction. The flame cannon. Okay. Interesting. You leave team flame cannon to like to shard for cannon use. Okay. Let's see if I open that up. I assume that was maybe just like a tutorial one. Uh, like a tutorial shard. Okay, forget this. Allies? What is that? Ally. Salt extracted from rocks. Uh, do not know. If I had to guess, I would assume that it is some sort of material for, like, crafting something. When I eventually get access to that. Okay. Darn it. Darn you wiggly guys! Is my HP recovering or is it only my MP that recovers over time? Okay, there's a chest up there. Huh. Oh, I don't like that. Well, there's a chest over here. Chest has a map. Okay, cool. Um, can my thing go through these? These? Um, no, they cannot. Oh, that just auto kills them, though. Well, that's convenient. Yeah, I leveled up. All right, cool. That means I can go over this way. Chest has SP rounds. Those are bullets, aren't they? Uh, let's see, so map, potions. Equipment? It's not an accessory or anything. Yeah, I want to say that those were, like, bullets for, like, a gun or something. Ah, uh, but we have... Uh oh Just kind of get rid of them at a distance. Bronze and sugar. Cerulean Splash again. Okay. Uh, does getting a duplicate do anything for me? Rank 1, Grade 2. Rank 1, Grade 1. Maybe I can upgrade them. I'll take a look at that to see if I have anything else. Uh, nothing else over that way. There's a chest up here, though. Chest has a short sword! Ooh! Candles can drop a mono rose when destroyed. Mono rose are magical that slightly replenishes energy. Why did I not think of getting rid of these lanterns earlier? That seemed like a very, very Castlevania thing that I probably should have picked up on. I don't play a lot of Castle. In fact, I think the only Castlevania game I've actually ever played was like the very first one, like on the ambassador system on like the, ooh, decapitation. Decapitation! I think the only Castlevania game I've ever played was the first one from like the 3DS ambassador system. Or was it on the, actually I don't think it was on the ambassador system. I think someone just had like a handheld version of it and I was able to just uh, play that as well. Journal. Flashing air kick. Perform up to three spinning kicks by repeating the same command. I need a kung fu shoes or the dragon shoes. Quarter circle and Y. Well, that's interesting. Huh. That's very interesting. 
Well, we got a chest up here. Chest has bronze, halite, and some sugar. Uh, I mean, I do like having a little bit more attack power. Another chest. Just adds. Tattered scarf. A uh, scarf made of ragged cloth increases mind? Uh, well, let me take a look at my stats. Attack, strength, intelligence, luck, defense, constitution, and mind. Maybe that increases, like, the power of my magic? Or maybe that would be intelligence. I'm not entirely sure. We'll figure it out as we go, though. Oh boy, money! That's right. True Castlevania fashion. If you're all full on magic... Oh boy! Dula hammer! Okay. Some iron. Uh, ooh, I cannot get up there. Also, there was a way that I could go back this way. Good thing I have a map. So let's head back over here. And see what's in the room underneath us. Yeah, it doesn't look like I actually recover HP on my own. Oh, sweet, a save point. Ah, okay. That's where I recover, right. You think that I should be able to get these sorts of things because I have played Metroid games before. It's just one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, that's how these types of games work. Let me guess, all the enemies come back? No? I figure the enemies come back. Well, get some money, I'm gonna need that for later. Oh, yep, the enemies come back. Kind of figure as such. Darn it. Yeah, I mean, again, you think that I would be able to pick up on these sorts of things, but eh, sometimes you don't really think about it. All oh, right, do a hammer. That was close. I can't reach up there. At least I don't think I can. No, because that's just a wall. Okay, I'm gonna need to either have a higher jump or like some sort of flying capability. All right. What the heck? A ghost. Damn it. You get back here. Damn it! Ah! Not even like a Medusa head! There! Okay, ether. Man, that took a lot out of me. Ten gold. Another cannon. Okay. Get some more m MP while I can. Oh, hi there. Okay, well they don't, oh, oh God. Okay. There we go. Just want to make sure I avoided getting hit as much as possible. And just has a claymore. Ooh, claymore. Two-handed. That is quite slow, though. Well, we'll see how well this is. Takes him out pretty quickly, although I think I might prefer, oh boy, seeds. I might want to prefer my faster, oh god. 
Ooh. All right, leveled up again. Okay, and this way... Is a shortcut? I think it's a shortcut. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Damn it. Should have figured as such. Uh, hairband? What does this do? Uh, gives me one extra defense and one more intelligence. Actually, I'm not sure. Is it actually like adjusting? Well, I think the hairband is changed. Yeah, okay, so there are a few things that are. Does it actually change her outfit? Um, possibly, maybe for something else. It's over here. Uh, two chests. SP rounds. A musk tune? Gun can be shot by equipping a consumable bullet. When you run out of type of bullet, the bullet will be replaced with much weaker infinite bullet. Okay, let's see how a gun works. Uh, okay, so we have the SP rounds. Soft point rounds. Okay. That is slow. It does seem to stun them. Hey! Wasn't sure if that was actually doing anything. But it worked. Ooh, boy, a thousand gold. And what is this? Ooh! MP up! Nice! Now, the big question is... Are there hidden rooms that are, like, not on the map? Because if I have to guess, I would say that, yes, there are hidden rooms that are not on the map. Because that's generally how these games work. Uh, but I do not know. Alright, we go back up here. I never did go this way. Oh, it's another save point. Well, I could use a save point. Alright. Well, I think we're doing pretty well, all things considered. I think we are starting to run a bit low on time. Uh, but I can kind of explore around just a little bit more. I mean, I can get him from very long range. This is going to take a while. There we go. But it is, in fact, doable. And a rusted ring. Hmm. A rusted ring. Extra defense, extra constitution. Okay. Doesn't look like I can do anything else up here. Uh, hmm. Is there anything else that I could maybe do? Um, is there any way that I can view like a map? Minus? Yes, minus, okay. Uh, then zoom. Where have I not really gone to? Maybe up around this portion? Or up here? Yeah, we'll try going up there and then we'll call it a day. Man, that slow down. Oh boy. The game does not necessarily like me using guns. Okay, so let's try to go up here. Hello. It's a box. Grab some extra money. We'll see what's up this way. A whip. True Castlevania fashion. Uh, the whip. Sturdy leather whip. It's a pretty wide area and even heads down, so I don't necessarily need to dock. Huh. 
Let's see, what's over this way? A chest! Just has 500 gold! Looks at least somewhat decent to get uh, those guys, though. Yeah, let's maybe try to avoid getting hurt as much as possible. Um, what the? Oh, chest. Another potion. That looks like a boss door. So let's maybe not head that way right this second. Rats. Another 500 gold. And then a room here. Save point? Save point! Alright, this is perfect. Alright, cool. Well, with that, I think we're probably good to call it a day. So, next time on Let's Play, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. We've pretty much gotten everywhere that I think we can get to. There's that chest over there, but there wasn't really anything we could do. Possibly we could go back to where we started from. But I think we'll... Hmm. I'm not sure if I'll be able to come back here. That's kind of the problem. Oh, that's a marker. Um... So you know what? Let's... I'm trying to think what exactly we can do for next time. Because it is a little bit of backtracking to get back over here. Um, and I would like to maybe try to see what's over in this section before taking on whatever is over here. So, I'll backtrack over here. We'll start out over in this area. And then we'll take on whatever is in this boss door. Until next time, everyone. Take care.